Hey there, how do we extract text from an image file? And why would we want to do that? Okay, well, let me give you an example. For this example, I'm going to use my good friend Mike Vile, um, whose birthday it is today. So happy, Mike, happy birthday, Mike Vile. Um, so I'm going to pretend that uh, I have asked Mike Vile to send me his bio. Okay, um, and let's say that you're working, say you're working as a manager for an artist and, and you say, hey, send me a copy of your bio. And the artist sends you a file and let's say that the file looks like this. Okay, and I'm, I'm actually, just to, for the record, Mike File would never send me an, a, an image file as a bio, but let's pretend you're dealing with someone who did. Um, okay, so that's great. There's the bio, except that I can't do anything with this, right? I can't cut and paste any of this information. Um, this is, you know, the, pretty much the only thing I can do with this is just copy it out and type it out manually. Um, and this isn't terribly long, so I suppose I could do that, but there's an easier way to do it, and I'm going to show you how to do that. It's called using a technology called optical character recognition. And if you've heard of this, you might have heard of OCR, that's what optical character recognition is. And um, you might have heard of, the, heard of this already. Um, OCR is basically a technology that extracts text from images, okay? Um, and if you have a scanner, there's a, there's a good possibility you've got some sort of OCR technology built into that, okay? So there's a lot of software that has this built in. What I'm gonna do today, though, is I'm gonna show you how you can extract text um, from images without using, without having to buy any software or buy a scanner or anything like that. Um, so the first method I'm going to show you is actually using Google Drive. If you've got a Google account, um, this is actually built into the Google, into Google Drive. Um, but one thing you need to do is, okay, so I'm logged into my drive.google.com here. Um, there's a few things you need to do before you do this. You need to actually go to your settings over here in the upper right hand corner, and then you need to go to the upload settings. And in this case, we need to select convert text. Here, I'll do that again a little slower. Let's say upload settings. We need to select the convert text from uploaded PDF and image files. We need to select that. Um, if you don't have that selected, Google's not going to try to convert any of the images to, to text. But if you do, um, then Google will use its, its magic, its Google magic, and extract text from the, any images that you upload here. While we're at it, why don't I just go ahead and select here. I'm just going to show you what I did here. I also selected convert uploaded files to Google Docs format. This way, whatever text Google Drive um, extracts from my image, I'll actually be able to work with it in a Google Docs as well. Okay, so let's give this a shot. So I've changed that setting. Okay, that's super important. This won't work if you don't change those upload settings. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click the big red upload button here, and I'm going to go find that file that Mike sent to me. It was on my desktop, and there it is, Mike file bio. I'm going to say upload, and this is a pretty small file. It doesn't take too, too long, so it's uploading. Apparently, it's 100% done. Um, it says finishing. There we go. It took a couple seconds to convert, and we'll see um, what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this, and let's see what we have here. Okay, so this is the actual image, so that doesn't look very different, but look what we have down here. Okay we have some text. Now you might notice some things. The, the OCR technology is not always perfect, okay? Um, when you think about what you're asking it to do, this is actually rather impressive. So you might have to tweak some of this, so that's okay. I know that this, uh, I just need to tweak this, I'm just gonna there, go, go like that, and then here it looks like road got pushed onto the next line here. What else is there here? I see that uh, this, what is this eight for city and color? If I look up here, this is the nice thing about having the image right here for reference. You can just kind of compare. Oh, I see that's supposed to be an ampersand. It missed the ampersand. No problem. We can just fix that. And I don't know about you, but I think that this is a lot easier. Tweaking a couple little things like this is a lot faster than having to retype the whole thing. Okay, what else is there? I think multi-instrumentalist from Michigan. Okay, and finally, just a few things where the line spacing got messed up a little bit. While we're at it, I'm going to select all, and I'm just going to change the font to be Georgia, because there's some weird font changes. I'll make it all 11 point size. Ah, another issue here. I want this to be there, and that looks pretty good to me. Okay, I'm not seeing any errors. Okay, that looks perfect. 
So there you go. We've just extracted that. How long did that take? And I was talking the whole time, so it was taking me twice as long. Um, that barely took any time to do that. So you were able to extract all that information from an image file. And this was just a PNG image, but it could have been a JPEG or a GIF. You were able to extract all that information very, very quickly, and that's very, very handy. Um, bear in mind, um, low resolution uh, scans and low resolution images um, will be less accurate than higher resolutions. The higher resolution, the better, OK? Um, but that's one thing you can do if anybody ever sends you a, an image file with some text in it that you want to access. You can always just upload it to your Google Drive and extract the text that way. Um, there's another way to do it, but I'm going to save that for another screencast. Okay. Um, in the meantime, thank you very, very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.